After travelling South America, Jess Fellows returned to the UK to discover that she has type 1 diabetes and since then she's been on a journey learning to live well with the condition. For me, staying active really helps, so cycling everywhere as my mode of transport but also for pleasure as well. Um, doing lots of yoga, meditation, breathing, just staying really in my body and yeah, as, as much as I can. <laughs> You have to check your blood a lot, which doesn't sound like much of a big deal, but it does wear you down because you're pricking your fingers all the time. So I've just got loads of holes in my fingers and it's not, it doesn't hurt loads, but it's also not pain free. Um, and it's, all, it's always at the back of your mind. So even though your diabetic kit can be, you know, not on your person, it's still in your mind all the time. I'm always thinking about when my next meal will be and I panic if I don't know when that's coming. It's it's quite high pressured. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely found that my mental health has suffered somewhat. Like I definitely um, have more anxiety nowadays and occasionally panic attacks, which aren't fun. Um, but I mean, there's so much support out there. The NHS on the whole have been amazing. Um, there's also a really big online community, so I don't feel isolated with it and I have a lot of support from my friends and family who understand the condition really well. And despite her condition, Jess is planning to take on a challenge of epic proportions.